Hi guys, it's Marina from Confessions of a Dollar Tree Addict, and I have another tiered tray spooky Halloween design for you guys. Really simple, um, just I I guess maybe about seven dollars, and uh, I used a bunch of things that I had left over from other Halloween uh, decor that I made, but. I did buy this basket. It's a waste basket from the Essentials line from Dollar Tree. And this is uh, one of the three pack galvanized signs, a large kitchen burner cover, one glass margarita glass painted. And of course, the three um, tea lights are from the Dollar Tree. Really beautiful that they made this year. Uh, the spider is from, I think, a 10 pack of glitter spiders. And those sparkling eyes are from a five pack of eyes that the Dollar Tree is offering their ornaments and uh the floral is from a pack of floral that I bought actually two packages of floral one had eyes and the other was sparkly but um you can change up the floral you can change everything um the ribbon is a harlequin wired ribbon from the Dollar Tree I'm not sure if I mentioned that um really this look, and I do have a color changing 600 hour tea light in there, and you could see that it is changing color, which is what I love. And when it's dark, it's really kind of spooky and eerie and sparkly, and I absolutely love that. So I'm going to show you guys what it looks like when it's dark out, and then I'm going to also show you some other ways that you can use this um, covered cloche in various decor is the spooky covered cloche that looks back at you um, with the lights turned low so you can see that the colors change and the eyes are all sparkling and looking back at us and I just kind of imagine that this is sort of like a magic hat and there's so much stuff going on inside of it we don't even know what the happenings are going on inside of this crazy magic Halloween spooky hat that I just really love. This single tiered cloche was really inspired by those three um, candle holders that the Dollar Tree offered. They're so beautiful with their stripes and polka dots that I just felt like creating a whimsical world underneath this basket that said, we've had a really rough year and just wanna have a happy and safe, fun, spooky Halloween. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe to my channel so we can get together again and I can share my Dollar Tree hauls and super simple DIYs. We're gonna get started now with the spray painting so of the burner dries cover. In 25 minutes or less. It's just black flat enamel spray paint and I'm gonna spray paint the burner cover. The large size Dollar Tree burner cover with it. It was so hot the day that I was spray painting this that the paint really did not want to stick to the burner cover. I'm not sure why, but I got it to work in the end and it did take a bunch of tries and it still turned out great. Then once you're done with your spray painting and hard work, you can take a little Dollar Tree coffee break. I took mine. I had one of my iced caramel uh, Dollar Tree jarred coffees. And when I was finished, I spray painted the jar. I didn't even take the label off because it seemed like too much trouble. I just spray painted it with this fun, happy Halloween green that I love. The hardest part is almost done, guys. The next thing you have to do is just spray paint a margarita glass that you get at the Dollar Tree, which actually might be the hardest thing to do. It's not that easy to find them, um, but you can order them online if you really, really need to. Um, so I spray painted it with fire orange that um, is satin finish and I just really enjoy spray painting glass. I flipped it around so I could really show you guys how amazingly magical it is to spray paint glass. It's just it like transforms it to something entirely different. It's so amazing to me. 
And these margarita glasses are very, very sturdy. They're not flimsy. I'm really clumsy and I haven't broken one yet. That says a lot. After that, I use the same spray paint to hit one of those galvanized spooky signs from the three packs with a little bit of the same color because I just want everything to be colorful and hocus pocus magically. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take my spray painted margarita glass. I got some paint from the place I painted it, but it doesn't matter. And I'm going to glue my black burner cover on it. And I'll do that with, I'm going to do it with fix all instead of hot glue because it works really great. Maybe they are wire cutters and I just didn't know that, but I always use them to snip my florals. It works really well. Of course, it's not going to do it now because I'm talking about it because that's just the way things work. There. And I'm going to put them in this lime green Halloween color. Fun Halloween. I'm going to put them in the fun Halloween color um, vase because I just want to have something that's really Halloween inspired but really colorful sort of day of the dead but not really there we go and you'll see how it all comes together in the end once everything is all glued together i just start assembling all of these things that i like on the tray in a way that i think will look cool underneath the wire mesh i do have these pieces i've torn off of my sprig and i have the wire mesh basket and i just play with everything until i completely love how everything is going to look underneath the wire basket 